Hello everyone, and uh, first of all I want to say Happy St. Patrick's Day to all the Irish pe people out there. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and yes, I am wearing green, so I have gotten zero pinches today, thank God, so there we go. Now, as many of you may or may not be aware of, I have recently done some top 10 videos on YouTube, basically talk about my top 10 favorite things when it comes to, you know, like movies and TV shows and whatnot. I mean, I've done my top 10 favorite uh, team of episodes from Power Rangers, my top 10 favorite sci-fi villains, and, you know, my favorite male Star Trek characters and female Star Trek characters and whatnot. But I've made, a, well, a list of other top 10s. Well, basically it's a list of ideas for other top 10s, but, you know, I want you guys to tell me, you know, what direction I should go in with these top 10s. So, I'm going to read you off my ideas for other top 10 videos that I have planned. And tell me if you think that maybe these are good ideas, maybe these are bad ideas, and maybe recommendations for other top 10s that I should do. So, let's get started. So, I have my list, front and back. So, here we go. So let's start off with my with my other ideas here. Favorite songs from Les Miserables, Dragon Ball Z characters, mainly on the good guys slash sidekicks of the good guys, and you know what I mean. Digimon characters. Now these can refer to either uh, you know the Digimon themselves, or from the Digi Destined, or maybe uh, some of the villains from seasons one through four. And I'm not going to focus on Season 5 Data Squad because A, I haven't seen it, and B, I don't want really to think it's that good. And trust me, my enjoyment for Digimon stopped after Season 4, so there we go. Uh, Les Miserables characters, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! characters, Disney villains, Twilight characters, Harry Potter characters, Disney songs, uh, songs from TV series Glee, uh, Glee characters, uh, TV themed songs slash scores, you know, like those TV shows that don't only have like a themed song, but they have like a little ditty or beat to them, you know, like uh, The Office or Parks and Recreation or whatever. Uh, movie scores, um, scenes from the Back to the Future trilogy. Now, I did not add, add any characters on there because, well, there aren't really all that many characters that I can like, and you know, some of them are. Well, you know, either, you know, offspring or descendants of some of the characters. Well, mainly Marty and there was Biff's grandson and stuff like that. So there you go. Uh, Demi Lovato songs, Jonas Brothers songs, Michael Jackson songs, Lady Gaga songs. Um, characters from the four Alien movies and, um, well, that's pretty much obvious one right there. Um, superheroes, musicals, mainly well, I'm mainly focused for that one. I'm mainly focusing on Broadway musicals, so there you go. Uh, problems with Alien Resurrection, which I have a ton of. Um, problems with Alien versus Predator, and I know that some of you guys are probably gonna mention the fact that yes, I've already reviewed Alien versus Predator, and yes, I've talked about the major issue I have with that one. But trust me, I have a lot of other problems with Alien versus Predator, so there we go. Uh, films based off of books. Now these could be either film franchises or just standalone films that's based off of a certain book and well, you get the idea. Uh, scenes from the Karate Kid movies. Now, for the purposes of that top ten, I'm only going to focus on the four Karate Kid movies that had a Pat Morita in them. I'm not going to focus on the on the remake because A, I haven't seen it, B, I don't want to see it, even though it does have Jackie Chan in, and I love a Jack and I love Jackie Chan. I think he's awesome, but also the movie has more to deal with kung fu rather than karate, considering the fact that you know the remake takes place in China, which is the which is the home of kung fu, and so basically that movie should be called the Kung Fu Kid. So there we go. Uh, TV shows, which I have a ton of, so it's going to be kind of hard to narrow it to ten. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Attacks, that's a pretty basic one, really. Uh, Food Network shows, and yes, I do love the Food Network. It's it's an awesome channel, and I love it, and there are a lot of great shows that I find very interesting, and there are tons of shows on that channel that I really like, so there we go. 
Uh, horror villains. That's pretty basic one, so there we go. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, characters from Power Rangers. Now, that list can vary from, you know, like, I'm going to check out a certain ranger or someone who's a non-ranger, maybe like a friend or ally of one of the Power Rangers or, or of the Power Rangers. So you get what I mean. Uh, villains from Power Rangers. Now, that one, I'm going to focus mainly on the main villains, not the sidekick villains and stuff like that. Uh, Peanuts characters, you know, the Peanuts comic strip. By, by Charles Schultz, you get the idea, you know, those characters like Charlie Brown, Linus, Snoopy, Woodstock, you get the idea. Um, Jeff Dunham puppets, and yes, I do love Jeff Dunham, and uh, so that's pretty much basic one. Uh, scenes from the Indiana Jones movies, the, well, you know, the, the four Indiana Jones movies out there, and I'm really focused on scenes rather than characters because, yeah, I know there are a lot of characters in the Indiana Jones movies, but, well, the only one we actually see throughout all the films is, of course, Indiana Jones, and that's going to be kind of awkward and stuff like that because, you know, while there are other characters in the films, then, but, well, some of them just either aren't mentioned or seen again and blah, 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 I mean... Yeah, the only one we ever saw again was was Marion Ravenwood played once again by the always awesome Karen Allen, so there we go. But still, I'm really focusing on my favorite scenes from the four Indiana Jones films, so there we go. Uh, Disney heroes, that's, well, pretty much obvious. Uh, Disney heroines, again, pretty much obvious. And I didn't focus on, like, but for those two that just much, I'm not focused on, like, you know, the princes or the princesses and blah blah blah. I mean, come on. Should be obvious what I'm talking about here, people. Uh, scenes from the Terminator movies. Now, for this one, I'm not gonna, you know, talk about my favorite scenes from the Sarah Connor Chronicles because I haven't seen that show and I really wish I had because, you know, because well, while it only lasted two seasons, which, which in my opinion really, really kind of sucked, I do wish I could have, you know, watched that show, and if I had been more invested in it, then I would be more upset that it only got cancelled after two seasons, but, oh well, what can you say? Uh, movie lines. Now, these could be, like, you know, famous lines from movies, or not-so-famous lines from certain movies and stuff like that. I mean, I do have, you know, my favorite lines from particular movies and stuff like that, so that's pretty much a basic one right there. Uh, Nostalgia Critic Reviews. Yes, I do enjoy watching reviews by the Nostalgia Critic. So, that one's pretty basic. That one's pretty basic. Uh, Nostalgia Chick Reviews. Now, I do love the Nostalgia Chick as much as I do the Nostalgia Critic. So, I do enjoy watching her reviews as much as I enjoy watching the Nostalgia Critic Reviews. And, yeah, I watch reviews by some of the other people on Blip, you know, like, SF Debris, Confused Matthew, Todd in the Shadows, uh, Phelous, um, Lupa, you know, Mike JTV or whatever his name is, uh, Spoonie and Pa Dugan and some of the other people and, you know, uh, Mars Girl and blah blah blah. But, you know, I mainly enjoy watching reviews by Nostalgia Critic and the Nostalgia Chick, so there we go. And last but not least, Dragon Ball Z Villains. So, that's basically my list of ideas for other top tens that I have plans, so let me know exactly how you want these reviews to go. I mean, do you want to focus, I mean, should I focus on, like, well, I don't know, you could just give me a basic idea of, of how I should do these, well, not exactly do these top tens, but, like, what order I should put them in and stuff like that, so they could be more coherent and concisive and blah blah blah. So, let me know, and please, 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 Send in requests for reviews. Now, I know I said this before, I'm going to say it again. Until I get Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones on DVD, I will not, I repeat, will not be looking at the prequel films, okay? And yeah, I know, I know, Red Litter Media and Confused Matthew have done their reviews of Star Wars prequels, and hey, more power to them, but still, I can't review the prequel films until I get Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, because because the only prequel film I own is Revenge of the Sith. So, really, I can't just review one of the prequel films without reviewing the first two, so that'd be kind of ridiculous. 
So, as I've said many times before, until I get a tech, until I get Phantom Menace and Attack of Clones on DVD, I will not be looking at the prequel films. So don't just okay. I'll get to the prequel films when I get the first two. Okay, then I'll look at the prequel films and so on and so forth. Okay, and also just like no like video games and request for me to do like a let's play of a certain video game and blah 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 because that'd be ridiculous because I really don't know because I really don't have any idea of how to do an effective let's play <coughs> I mean if you guys want me to review a certain video game then that's fine I can do that but but I'm but to be fair there, I'm only gonna limit it to video games that are that are only available for the Xbox 360 console or a PC game because those are the only gaming systems I have available to me. So there we go. Plus, if it's a video game I haven't played before, then I need to do research on the game and stuff like that. So basically, those kind of things are gonna be more gonna be more opinion based, like. How I would feel if I actually, you know, went out, bought the game, and played it, and so on and so forth. So there we go. And, well, that's pretty much it for now. So just tell me how you guys want me to put these other top tens I mentioned in a certain order, and we'll just go on from there. So until then, live long and prosper. Peace out. May the Force be with you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye.